Yo guys, in this video, we're talking about three underrated pieces of filmmaking gear that every beginner filmmaker should have, and it's not a gimbal. All the three things that I'm gonna be talking about all involve controlling light. Light is the key to really help us get in that cinematic look that we're all chasing to get. Now it's important, the better you understand how to use light, the better your filmmaking and your photography would be. So it's extremely important to understand how to control that light. For those of you who don't know what an ND filter, it's basically like sunglasses for your lens. And it's important, especially in a shot like this where it's super bright, even though the sky is still a little bit blown out, I wouldn't even be able to have this much if I didn't have this ND filter on here. I'll show you what it looks like without this ND filter. This is what the shot looks like without the ND filter. The ND filters do come in different stages or basically different darknesses to cut out that light. Variable NDs allow you to adjust and they all do have a range and that's what I'm using right now. I'm able to make it darker, or I'm able to make it lighter, or you can buy individual lenses, each doing a different stop as far as light, maybe six, 16 or 18 or whatever the value is. All right, guys, we're back inside here because it's a lot cooler in here than it was out there. And we're here to talk about the five in one reflector and why this is one of the most underrated tools as far as filmmaking goes. Now the 5 one filter has five different sides that we can possibly use. The first side is the white side, which is very great for bouncing light off of the white side and back to your subject, which also helps soften up the light. Then we also have the black side. The black side works as a negative feel. Opposite here, you can see I have light on my side, but on this side, we have a little bit of a dark tone, a little bit of shadows. Using a negative feel will help add this more cinematic contrast between light and dark, so it literally pulls away that bounce light. Then we also have the gold side, which basically as it looks like, you can see that little bit of gold color that adds that little bit of an orange tint to your light, which also helps out. Then we also have the silver side. The silver side adds a lot more brightness, a little bit more hard light versus the white side, which tends to be a little bit more softer. And then we have the inside, which is actually like a scrim like screen. You can shoot the light through that, which also helps soften or diffuses the light a little bit, giving it a lot more softer look, which I'm actually using at the moment. So one big mistake I made in the beginning of my filmmaking career was I bought a bunch of small cheap lights, which ended up not being effective as buying just one big strong light. So if there's anything that I, that I really want you to take from this is just save your money and buy one big light, guys. Trust me, it will help in the future than buying a gimbal first. Just save up and buy the light. Let's look at some reasons why a brighter light is better than a bunch of small lights. Now the light that I'm using is the Callbore CL60 video light. It's a small light, but yet it is extremely powerful. Now the light I'm using comes in at about 2600 LUX at three feet. And what does all this jibber jabber mean? It means it's really bright. Like I said earlier, when we were talking about the five in one reflector, the brighter your light is, the more control you have as far as bouncing it off of something, shooting it off of something and maintaining a usable brightness. If it's a really weak light source, you can't bounce it. You can't shoot it through stuff. So you're kind of just stuck with this little small light that doesn't really work efficiently. So having a bright light is way better, but actually having a super bright light can actually be unuseful. Let me show you what I mean. Now, does this look good? No, it doesn't. Let's change that. How about this? Much better. Before you go out and buy that next fancy gimbal, which you can possibly buy this one big bright light for the same price as that gimbal, and maybe have some extra change left to get an ND filter or a five in one reflector, do that before because that really helps you get to that cinematic look we're all chasing for. If you're interested in more detail, I have a quick review about this light more in detail. You can take a look at this. This was all shot on the motion cam on my Samsung Note 8. Patrick LeVar, keep filming. It's the only way you'll get better. Peace.